What's up, YouTube? It's Doke Dad. Uh, I want to whine some more, if I can do that. Talk to you guys about uh, my card that I feel is really overrated this format, Abyss Dweller. Uh, when it came out, people saw it as the answer to the water deck, the feared water deck. And also, it would help you against dark worlds and blah, 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 blah. Uh, the problem is, it only has 1,700 attack, and you make this against Mermails, and then they go D.Va into Cataster and run this over, or they just summon Marksmen, or I'm sorry, not Marksmen, but they summon Dragoons and run it over, and you're just like, well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, you know, so... In windups, you can make this formidable by using a windup shark as one of the materials. In dino rabbits, you can use a cobblezools or two as the materials to make this 2200. You know, and then the card becomes formidable. But you know, the other beef I have with the card is you have to use the effect proactively. And what I mean by that is you can't chain it to an effect that is already activated. It prevents the effect from activating. So, to get the best use out of it, you make this, instead of making the play you really wanted to make, pass turn, your opponent draws for their turn, and their draw or standby phase, you detach a material to shut off their graveyard, and they're just like, well, I wasn't going to do anything this turn anyway, because you have back row set, so I'll just set up and try to force you to burn the material and thankfully you're not going to OTK me because you made that shitty card instead of a real play and then proceed to win the following turn you know um, Abyss Dweller works for some people but it just seems like whenever I drop it even if I set it up to where I have protection for it you know it just never goes as just never goes as planned you know you know, I have a I have a chance like with my Chaos Ninjas. I have a chance for a big Excalibur play, or whatever, but it's not game. You know, I, I have this really elaborate combo I can do, but it's not game. And then I don't want to be stuck and make this big push, and then they drop Megalo and then fuck all my shit up. And I'm like, well, I should I can make a Best Dweller and I can stop that. Yeah. And then they summon Dragoons and run them shit over. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> So, um, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about this damn thing. I, I, I think it's overrated. I think it's probably one of the biggest overrated cards that Konami has put out in a while. Uh, people thought, in my opinion, foolishly, that Tour Guy was overrated. Uh, they didn't see the utility that it had. They thought People thought that Tengu was overrated and failed to see the utility that it had. But... I truly believe, and this is the first time that I've probably said this either ever or in a long while, that this card is truly overrated. You know, you can't chain this to an effect. And I think that's what kills the card. Be being forced to proactively detach before your opponent does anything really kills this card. It The attack is too low. I mean, I understand 1700 attack, you know, kind of makes it balance. But since when does Konami care about balancing shit? This thing should have at least had 2,000 attack and then gained 500 if you have water materials, you know, that kind of thing. But it's 1,700 attack. This thing ain't doing shit. It ain't doing shit. Um, so, you know, maybe if somebody can convince me down in the comment section on how to best utilize this, and I don't want any kind of manby panby you know, generic answer about, well, you make this, then you set your warning and your starlight and all this other bullshit, and then you win. No, that's, no. No, because you still have to detach it before your opponent does anything, and then they can just dark hole or whatever, and then stomp your face in the next turn. You know, if somebody can come up with a really, really good, you know, use for this card and how to best make it effective, you know, how and prove to me that this shit is not overrated. You know, I'll give you this shit. You know, I'll, you know, your your comment will have to get like a bunch of thumbs up and people agreeing with you and shit. 
and I'll have to thumbs it up and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, you're right. And I'll get your address and all that shit. And I'll send you this piece of shit. Because <laughs> um, I picked this up and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to win Yu-Gi-Oh's. Oh, shit. This thing keeps getting ran over by Dragoons. Every fucking time I played Mermails, it got ran over by Dragoons. I mean, I knew the Diva play was there, but my opponent was like, why burn Diva when I can just summon Dragoons and beat this shit down? <laughs> Tell me what you think. It's WK Dad and I'm out.